Hi, good afternoon, teachers. My name is Jagat, and I welcome you all on the behalf of Shri Aurobindo Society. So this is the series where I share with you every day some of the great innovative ideas given by the teachers of different state. So this week I'm going to share with you the innovative ideas given by the teachers of Odisha. So yesterday I shared with you some innovative ideas uh, of the Odisha's teacher new age teaching technique. So this was the case study there I shared I shared with you some innovative ideas. So today I have an additional gift also for you. Today I'm going to share with you two innovative, uh, three innovative ideas with or with two case studies. So the one case study which I'm going to share with you that is learning through games and the second is community participation. And both the things sound so uh, like so good, so positive for us. So first let's talk about the community participation. Before that I have some questions and some queries which I, I or we receive from the teachers always. They said how do you share these innovative ideas from where do you collect these innovative ideas? And what is the way, what are the parameters that you select any innovative idea? So I will share with you all the way, everything, all the questions in this Facebook webinar. So in the middle of somewhere or anywhere while you are listening to you, uh, while you are listening, these innovative ideas, please feel free to comment. I would love to read your comments and I would love to reply those. We read your all the comments and we try our best that we come and we answer you as soon as possible. So now let's jump on our first case study that is community participation. So when we say community participation, it is uh, it is very important part that in our school or any area that if community is not participating in the school, so somewhere the school campus is not complete. The education is so not somewhere complete. So what happens in this, we all know that there are three pillars and we believe in that, that there are three pillars of education, that is teachers, students, and parents. If these three people are, uh, they have a good bond together, we believe that the best education can be delivered or can be provided to students. So when we are talking about community participation, there are so many things we see on the parents meeting teachers, they share with us that sir, on the parents meeting, there are so many parents that do not come to the school. We keep calling them, we keep texting them, we send the message to them, even they do not come in the school. So what is the reason behind it? We will understand that also. And I'll share with you one innovative idea which is going to help you a lot to understand and to bring the community to the school. So they can also feel that not only our son or daughter goes to study in the school, we are also connected with the school. So now let's go ahead, let's talk about our first innovative idea. That is the spread joy of education. Spread joy of education is our name. This is the name of our first innovative idea. And we can implement this innovative idea in middle higher classes when we are implementing this innovative idea in the school. So what happens in this innovative idea? So teacher comes in the classroom and teacher shares with all the students. The students, you students come to the school, but there are so many people, there are so many other uh, areas in the country. The people are not getting the right of education. People are not able to reach to the school because they do not know the importance of education. So here, what teacher does, so teacher makes one session for counseling of the students and teacher asks them that students, what is the importance of education? So first teacher takes the point of view of all the students and after that teacher sees that what, uh, if there are, uh, if there are some students, if they're not aware of the, if they're not aware that what is the importance of education so teacher shares with them, teacher shares this point of view that what is the importance of education. So what happens in this? So first the teacher does it. So teacher tells that there are so many underprivileged areas or underprivileged children are there who do not come to the school, who do not know the value of education, who do not know what happens in school and how to, they even don't know how to take admission in the school. So teacher promote awareness among under uh, privileged students or the children or the parents who live around. 
so teacher makes five to six groups in the school and teacher tell them the students what you are going to do is i will give you some places where there you will go and you will choose some students that you are going to teach those students about something about any subject about education english mathematics science hindi any language which can help them to grow in their life you are going to teach their parents also at the same time so when they come to the school they know what happens in the school they know the value of education so like this the parents also feel so much motivated that our children are teaching somewhere our children are teaching some underprivileged children they are helping them a lot to study and to go to the school so teachers share all this information uh, with the students and students start going and start teaching other people who are around so after that the student the underprivileged children were there the people who do not who uh, never visited the school they also feel that yes we should go to the school their parents feel that we should go to the school they feel that now there is importance of education if your child is not getting the education it means there is a problem so they the, those children are solving the problem they are teaching they are uh, connecting their, their self with the community they are making a great bond with the community so this is how the teacher gives the right of education to all the students and uh, and promote the awareness of education that we all should have educate we all should be educated we should go to the school one to eight classes free of cost in the all the schools all the government schools and the books and everything is provided by the government and each child has to take education at least till eighth class so teacher gives such kind of information through students to other people so this was our first innovative idea teachers now let's go ahead and let's talk about our next innovative idea that is our first a next case study there i will tell you some innovative ideas so the next is learning through games in learning through games what is learning through games let's talk about this teachers so we all know in our schools there are so many children when they come to the school we can see on their face that they are feeling bored they are they were boredom when they then they got a chance to study at that time what happens so those students how we can connect them with the school how we can give them education how they they can learn so many things if you ask your class the students today we are going to play a game we will we see the energy in students we see the enthusiasm in the students that they are ready to learn they say that yes ma'am let's just play a game let's play a game so here we can say that there are so many students or i can say almost 100% students are there in the school they love to play games so here teacher comes and thinks like what if i can play some games in my school and some activities my students can keep learning and they can also feel so much connected with the school so here teacher plays first game that is the first activity first innovative idea that is grid game so you teachers have must played this game if not so today you will know about what is grid game and how to play this game in the school so first teacher comes in the classroom so uh, first one more very important thing that this in a bit of idea can be implemented with any subject it can be social science general knowledge hindi english with any language or with any subject so teacher comes in the classroom teacher start start sharing with the students the students we are going to play a game and you all students are going to participate in this for an example if the teacher is teaching an history lesson or the lesson of english or the lesson of mathematics so after the teacher finishes the lesson so teacher makes a grid in the class so if there the space is not available in the class so we can play this activity in the ground as well but if the place is uh, available in the classroom if we have enough space so teacher makes some grids and teacher write some uh, words there so then after for an example if teacher is teaching about that uh, any subject of history or any any some any story of english anything uh, related to our planets or related to flowers mangoes different kind of mangoes different kind of uh, fruits and teacher is teaching that so teacher writes the name of that everything so teacher uh, if teacher is teaching about country so teacher will say to the teacher will divide the class into two group the group a and the group b so teacher will ask the group a that is teach uh, students which is the biggest country in the world 
so the grid uh, there are so many grids in the classroom so one student will come ahead and stand there if that is the right answer he will be he will be standing there for that the minus one point we given to the team and he will go back and the next team will get the chance then they will ask the what is smallest city what are the neighbor countries of india what is the neighbor country of india in this grid so this is how the teacher plays this game and keep engaging all the students in this grid and students also feel so enthusiastic so connected with the classroom so connected with the school and so connected with the teacher they keep waiting for the game when teacher will play this game again when teacher will play this game again and teacher can ask about the planets also which is the biggest planet which is the nearest planet uh, to sun which is the what is what is the uh, how many planets are in uh, like teacher can ask any question like that teacher can write these questions in the board so this is how the teacher plays this activity in the classroom and teacher sees such amazing benefits also that the students are so much connected now the students are also feeling so good while playing these games so teachers now let's go ahead and let's talk about our next innovative idea and the last innovative idea of the day that is spin game so spin game is our last innovative idea let's talk about this or uh, what are the things which we need in this that we need to take care that is cardboard one chart paper and sketch pen one nail and glue gun so these are the things which we need while implementing this innovative idea so what happens in this innovative idea so teacher comes so teacher has some cardboard so teacher cut those cardboards into the round shape so one will be bigger then smaller then smaller then smaller so uh, for an example if teacher wants to teach any anything so teacher will make a spin and the teacher will paste that on the wall with the nail so that they can it can move and then one more cardboard and then one more cardboard for example the first cardboard the teacher will write mango and the next one teacher will paste the uh, photo of mango and the second the state in which state is found the most so students have to match that mango what is the mango then they will match the photo then state and it can be accounting also it can be a uh, multiplication as well it can be tables for an example teacher makes two spin together like two in a uh, two multiply two is equal to then they will they will match the four it will be there if two multiply three then they will match six into that so this is how the teacher plays this activity and for 15 to 30 minutes teacher plays this activity so all the students can enjoy and teacher whatever the te lesson teacher want to whatever the lesson teacher want to revise uh, do revision of the lesson so teacher can teach this lesson and implement this innovative idea like this in the classroom so if you teachers also implement any innovative idea or any idea in your school so please do not forget to share with us in the comment box so now let's talk about those questions teachers which uh, i asked during the starting or which teachers asked and if you are a new teacher so you must have also this question that how can you share your innovative ideas with us so you can visit our website that is www.ziiei.com so this is our website once you go to this website you will see one pop up there so once you see this pop up you will see submission of the idea you can submit your idea there so there are four parameters once you are sharing your innovative idea so what is the first parameter so the first parameter is that your idea should be based on zero investment zero investment as the uh, as our program name is ziiei zero investment innovation for education initiatives so the idea which you are sharing with us should be based on zero investment as i shared with you these innovative ideas and all the ideas were based on zero investment only so well, let's talk about our next parameter that is that you should have any documentation or proof of your innovative idea so when you are sharing your innovative idea do you have a proof of that that you are implement it can be a photo or it can be a video which you can share with us so the next is third parameter is that you must be implementing that innovative idea that you have implemented that innovative idea in your school it can be four years back three years you are implementing from last three years four years five years one year six months two months one week it can be any time that you have implemented that because there are so many ideas which we receive sometimes they are not implemented so there are no outcome so when we talk about outcome let's go and let's talk about our fourth 
uh, our fourth parameter that is that you must have seen any fruitful outcome of that fruitful outcome when we talk about this so when we talk about this fruitful outcome it means that your idea it can be that you your idea is improving the learning outcome of the student or you are bringing girl students to the school you are implement you are improving the community participation in the school any any idea like that will be counted in that any any when any fruitful outcome so these were the questions which most of the teachers get and if you want to download the pdf of this book which we share with you or any book which we share with you so you can visit again i'm telling your website that is www.ziei.com so this is our website there you can visit and you can download any pdf of the book and then you can share uh, you can you can uh, see the innovative idea and, and can implement these innovative ideas in a school and as we all know that you teachers are implementing ids you must be implement doing something innovative in your school because right now the schools are not open you all the teachers are teaching from the house only by uh, like online you are teaching from different platform so if you have any idea by which you are teaching like this also you have implemented something so you can share that innovative idea also with us so these were the innovative idea teachers which i had to share with you now i believe that once your schools are open once you meet your student you are going to implement any one of the idea and see the benefits of that so till then teachers now let's meet tomorrow uh with different innovative ideas till then you have a great day bye bye